your loss to IBM D Blue in 1997, in my eyes, that is one of the most seminal moments in the history. Again, I apologize for being r romanticizing the notion, but in the history of our civilization, because humans as a civilization for centuries saw chess as you know the peak of what man can accomplish of intellectual mastery, right? And that moment when a machine could beat a human being was inspiring to just an entire, anyone who cares about science, innovation, an entire generation of AI researchers. And yet to you that loss, at least if reading your face, was seemed like a tragedy, extremely painful. Like you said, physically painful. Why? When you look back at your psychology of that loss, why was it so painful? Were you not able to see the seminal nature of that moment? Uh, or, or was that exactly why it was that painful? Uh, uh, as I already said, losing was painful, physically painful. Physical. And the match I lost in 1997 was not the first match I lost to a machine. It was the first match I lost, period. Yes. Uh, that's... Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's... Uh, right. Yeah, uh, that, that makes all the difference to me. Yes. First time I lost. It's just... Now, I lost, and uh, the reason I was so angry that I just, you know, I had uh, suspicions that my loss was not just the result of my bad play. Yes. So though I played quite poorly, you know, just when you started looking at the games today, I made tons of mistakes. But, you know, I, I had all reasons to believe that, you know, there were other other factors that had nothing to do with the game of chess. And that's why I was angry. But look, it was 22 years ago. It's what on the bridge. We can analyze this match and this is with everything you said. I, I agree with probably one exception is that uh, considering chess, you know, as the sort of... Uh, as a pinnacle of intellectual activities was our mistake. Because, you know, we just thought, oh, it's a, it's a game of the highest intellect and it's just, you know, you have to be so, you know, intelligent and you could see things that, you know, the, uh, the, ordin the, the uh, ordinary mortals could not see. Mm -hmm. It's a game. And uh, uh, all machines had to do in this game is just to make fewer mistakes, not to solve the game, because the game cannot be solved. I mean, according to Claude Shannon, the number of legal moves is 10 to the 46th power. Mm -hmm. Too many zeros. So just for <laughs> any computer to finish the job, you know, uh, uh, in the in, in next few billion years. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't have to. It's all about making fewer mistakes. And I think that's the, this match actually, and what's happened afterwards with other games. With, with Go, with Shogi, uh, with uh, video games. It's a demonstration that it's the machines will always beat humans in what I call closed systems. Mm -hmm. The moment you build a closed system, no matter how the system is called, chess, go, shogi, dota, uh, machines will prevail simply because they will bring down number of mistakes. Um, machines don't have to solve it. They just have to... It's the way they outplay us, it's not by just being more intelligent. It's just by by doing something else, but eventually it's just it's capitalizing on our mistakes. When you look at the chess machines ratings today and compare, compare this to Magnus Carlsen, it's the same as comparing Ferrari to Usain Bolt. Mm -hmm. It's the the gap is it's, is I mean by chess standards is insane. 34, 3500 to 2800, 20, 20, 2850 on Magnus. It's like difference between Magnus and, a, and an ordinary player from an open international tournament. Uh, it's not because machine understands chess better than Magnus Carlsen, but simply because it's steady. Machine has steady hand. And I think that is what we, 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 we have to learn from 1997 experience and from further encounters with computers and sort of the, the current state, state of affairs with Alpha Zero. You, uh, beating other machines. The idea that we can compete with computers in so-called intellectual fields, it's, it was wrong from the very beginning. It's just, it's, by the way, the 1997 match was not the first victory of machines over. Over chess. grandmasters. Over, over grandmasters. Yeah. No, actually it's, I played against first decent chess computers from late, from late eighties. So I played with the prototype of deep, 
a blue called Deep Thought. In 1989, two rapid chess games in New York, I won handily to both games. We played against uh, new um, chess engines like Fritz and other programs. And then it's the was Israeli program Junior that appeared in 1995. Right, 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 I remember. Yeah. So there, there were there were several programs. I, you know, I lost a few games in Blitz. I lost one match against the computer a chess engine in 1994, Rapid Chess. So I lost one game to Deep Blue in 1996 match, the man, the match I, I won. Some people, you know, tend to forget about it that I won the first match. Yes. But it's it's we we made a very important psychological mistake thinking that the reason we lost blitz matches, five, five minutes games, the reason we lost some of the rapid chess matches, 25 minutes chess, because we didn't have enough time. If you play a longer match, we will not make the same mistakes. Nonsense. So this, yeah, we had more time, but we still make mistakes. And machine also has more time. And machines, machine will always, you know, uh, will always be steady and consistent compared to humans' instabilities and inconsistencies. And um, today we are at the point where, yes, nobody talks about, you know, uh, humans playing as machines. Now, machines can offer handicap to, to, to top players that still, you know, uh, uh, will, will, will be favorite. I think we're just learning that it's, it's, it's no longer human versus machines. It's about human working with machines. That's what I recognized in 1998 just after leaking my wounds and spending one year and just, you know, ruminating so the so what's happened at, in, in this match. And I knew that though we still could play against the machines. I, I had two more matches in, in 2003 playing both uh, Deep Fritz and Deep Junior. Both matches ended as a tie. Mm -hmm. uh, though these machines were not weaker, at least, actually probably stronger than Deep Blue. Um, and by the way, today... Uh, Chess app on your mobile phone is probably stronger than Deep Blue. Than Deep Blue. I'm yeah. not speaking even about chess engines that are so much superior. And by the way, when you analyze games we played against Deep Blue in 1997 on your chess engine, they will be laughing. Yeah. So this is, and it also shows that's how chess changed because uh, chess commentators they look at some of our games like Game Four, Game Five, brilliant idea. Now you ask. Uh, um, Stockfish, you ask yeah. Houdini, uh, you ask Commodore, all the leading chess engines. Yeah. Within 30 seconds, they will show you how many mistakes both Gary and D. Blue made <laughs> in the game that was uh, 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 trumpeted as, the, as a great uh, uh, chess match in 1997.